let's take a look at some repair procedures for fuel pump replacement. First of all, whether it's a mechanical fuel pump, a pump on a hanger or a stick, or a fuel pump module assembly, all of the procedures for replacing a fuel pump can be found in the factory service information. It's important that you follow those procedures to ensure that the fuel pump replacement goes successfully. But there are other techniques that are often not noted in those procedures that you should be aware of. The first is something called module clocking. And clocking is the position of the fuel pump assembly in the fuel tank. For example, this pump would be in the three o'clock position right now. Um, so it is important as we take the old one out to notice the clocking. Some fuel pump modules will have an index point uh, which will only allow it to go in one way, so it's very important that you don't force any of the components together. Obviously, when you put this piece back in, it is important that we put a new seal underneath to make sure we have a good tight liquid seal as well as a vapor seal. Of course, if it is corroded, we should replace the lock ring itself to ensure we get a nice tight fit down the fuel pump on top of the seal and obviously provide adequate protection from against any type of leakage at all. Now past that we need to make sure we have good fuel tank clearance and obviously if there was any insulators or any rubber pieces that are there we need to make sure that they go back in place. Now sometimes there's going to be a situation where we need to replace the connector assembly and that connector assembly will have to be spliced into the factory wiring harness. If we do that it's important to note the length so we don't make the harness too long or too short and of course we want to make sure that when we put the wires together that we have a good electrical connection. Solder and heat shrink should ensure that we have a good electrical connection for many years to come. So splicing this in obviously should be done with care. Now other things that we need to look at when we remove the gas tank are contamination. We need to make sure and see if there's any contamination inside the tank. Um, whether it is dirt, whether it is corrosion um, or rust, we need to make sure that we evaluate the tank to see if it needs to be cleaned or perhaps needs to be replaced. Now other important notes, when we pull the fuel pump module out, one of the things that we want to look for is a fuel vapor pressure sensor. If it has a fuel vapor pressure sensor on the top of the fuel pump module assembly, we need to be sure that the new one has it or we need to swap it over onto um, the new module. So the location and obviously um, application of the fuel pressure sensor is important. The other thing you need to consider is that we don't always have to remove the tank. Particularly on European cars, often there's an access panel in the trunk that allows us to access the top of the fuel pump assembly itself where we can actually pull it out without removing um, the fuel tank. So one of the things that you always want to do is to make sure once you follow those guidelines to see if there's an access panel in the trunk. Now there are some other things to consider during your installation of the fuel pump. Obviously besides contamination that would need to be flushed, one of the things we want to look for is do we want to put a new filter or strainer on the fuel pump module. The fuel pump module often will have a fuel pump strainer attached. This strainer is our first line of defense to protect the fuel pump inside. If it doesn't have one, then we may want to put a strainer on to ensure long life of that fuel pump. Other items are leaks. If the vehicle was leaking before, we need to make sure after we put our new components on that we have no leaks, either liquid or vapor, and that we install all the parts provided in the box. And finally, we want to look at the filler neck. The fuel filler neck is a spot that can get a lot of rust or contamination or even holes, so it's important that we inspect those areas to make sure the fuel tank um, is in good shape or perhaps needs to be replaced. All these in the factory repair procedure should give you great success in replacing the fuel pump.